we're going to start by talking, a really, talking about a really important concept in math, and that's the idea of divisibility. And we say that one integer is divisible by another integer if you divide and the remainder is zero. So like for example, let's say I wanted to look at 25 and I tried doing 25 divided by 5, either in my head or in my calculator or whatever. If I do 25 divided by 5, I get 5 remainder 0. Whereas if I do like 25 and 6, 25 is not divisible by 6 because if I do 25 divided by 6 on my calculator, I get some weird decimal. So here's how you could check to say if something's divisible. If you do some number divided by another on your calculator and your answer is just an integer. It's no decimal or fraction or whatever, just an integer. Um, so like for example, 25 is divisible by 5, that's true. Um, other things that multiply into 25 are 1 and 25. Or like if I want to look at the number 27. 27 is divisible by, can you think of anything? Um, think about what multiplies into 27. Many people think of 3 and 9, which is great. Um, another thing that you might have forgotten is it could use, I could use 1 and 27 as well. Those are what we mean by divisibility. And then these numbers here, this whole group of numbers is called the factors. If I wanted to list the factors of 27, I would list these four numbers here. Or if I wanted to list the factors of 25, I'd list these three numbers here. And we're going to talk a lot more about divisibility and factors in the next few ideas. Um, here's another shortcut for how to decide if something is divisible by a number or not. And I mentioned you could do it on a calculator and look for um, something divided by something else and your answer is just an integer, no fractions or decimals. Here's some rules you can mem memorize, and I bet you already know a lot of these. The first one is that a number is divisible by 2 if it ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So like for example, 108 is divisible by 2 because it ends in 8. Or like 153 million and 6 is divisible by 2 because it ends in 6. Um, a number is divisible by 5 if it ends in 0 or 5. You guys know that. Same thing with 10. A number is divisible by 10 if it ends in 0. Here are some that you may or may not know. And these are the ones that are a little bit trickier. If you add up all the digits and that answer is divisible by 3, then um, that number itself is divisible by 3. So like the number, let's say, 123. If I add up 1 plus 2 plus 3, adding up the digits, 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. 6 is divisible by 3, so yes, 123 is divisible by 3. We'll see some more in the next coming examples. Um, or by 9, if you add up all the digits and your answer is divisible by 9, then the original number was divisible by 9. And then lastly, a number is divisible by 6 if it's divisible by both 2 and 3, if the, both of these rules hold. So we're going to practice that quite a bit. Um, and this idea of divisibility seems like it might not be that important. It's just like, you know, memorizing your multiplication charts and division charts or whatever. But in fact, this is going to become a really big deal when you get into fractions and simplifying fractions. So it's something you're going to want to practice, these divisibility rules. The more you can get them like this in your head, the better you'll be in the future. And by two. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. Work it. So if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> that should be... Less than. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, to fix. Yeah.